Good evening everyone and welcome to our special Light of Life Christmas memorial service. In normal times we have a service in both of our churches as we gather around our Christmas tree in the dark and then we switch the lights on on the tree and dedicate those lights to those whom we love but see no longer, those who've passed away. And of course, we are unable to gather in person in our churches. And so we've combined the two services for Bulbra and Clown into one for this special service this evening. One of the benefits, though, of having the service online is that you are watching this in your own safe space, which means that you don't need to have any inhibitions and maybe you can grieve in a way that suits you in the safety of your home this evening as we remember all of our loved ones. You can have a big old cry and not worry about anyone watching you. So I hope you find this evening's service comforting and an opportunity to sing some familiar carols, hear the Christmas story again and remember together our loved ones. I have quite a long list of names to read out so thank you to those of you that have sent me names it's quite difficult for me to include names now we've started the service live. So if you've not been able to get in touch with me to have a name read out, or if your name for, for some reason doesn't get read out, you might like to add it in the comments on this video um, when the names are being read. So I'll do my best to make sure that they're all included. So let's begin our service. With all of our online services, um, if you would like at home to join in with the words in yellow as you feel comfortable and you will see through the service we have some Christmas carols that we managed to record with our choir on Sunday. So um, we did it in a Covid safe way and we've recorded all of our Christmas service uh, Christmas carols together and just to give a quick trailer, this coming Sunday the 20th of December you'll be able to watch at 6pm our nine lessons and carols service in full online as well. I'm just going to have a double check that the sound is working before I just go any further. Yes, it is. Just thought I'd better double check because I didn't want to go through the whole thing on mute. <laughs> That's been the phrase of the year, hasn't it? You're on mute. So let's begin our service. I bring you good news of great joy. A saviour has been born to you. Unto us a child is born, a son is given. So let us pray. Almighty God, you make us glad with the yearly remembrance of the birth of your son Jesus Christ. Grant that as we joyfully receive him as our redeemer, we may with sure confidence behold him when he shall come to be our judge, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And so now we have our first carol, and the words will come up on the screen if you would like to join in at home.
understand some people are struggling to hear me. Um, I've tried to check it on my on my own phone and it seems to be working for me so it must be a problem at your end. I do apologise if you can't hear um, but I will continue with the service. So we come to make our confession together if you would like to join in with the words in yellow. You Lord were born for our salvation. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came as saviour to bring wholeness and peace. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You came to bring light into the darkness of our lives. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God, who sent his Son into the world to save sinners, bring you his pardon and peace, now and for ever. Amen. And so now we come to hear our first reading from Scripture. It's taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them at the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favours. And so now we come to hear a beautiful carol in the bleak midwinter.
What a beautiful reflective carol for this time of year. So now we have our second reading, which is taken from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 2. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him, and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler, who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. So now we move to the part of the service where we light our Christmas trees and dedicate the lights on those trees to the loved ones whose names we are going to read out. You may like to see if you can find a candle. I've got one here just to light now. You might like to turn the light off in the room that you're sitting in just for a moment.
and what I have done because of course we're not actually in our churches I have made a very very short video showing our two trees being lit as we sit in the darkness here we bring before God our sadness at the loss of our loved ones remembering Jesus's promise that the light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot overcome it the light of Jesus is always there with us so we dedicate the lights on our Christmas trees to our loved ones So now I will read the names of our loved ones. Joseph Barry Skelton, Gwyneth Speed, Harry Smith, Ronald Bond, Jean Valerie Westley, June Marshall, Mary Wardle Bristow, Carol Bartley, Enos Bartley, Iris Bartley, Mary Ward, Lee Smithurst, Sandra Smithurst, Charlotte Milner, Audrey Winifred Freer, Joseph Robert Barlow, Hayden Barlow, Mavis Johns, Alice Metcalf, Sheila Dixon, Iris Pettit, Margaret Elizabeth Wilders, Leslie Wilders, Edith Lillian Smith, Ruth Smith, Bill Richards, Pearl Klimzak, Irene Smith, David Wormsley Houghton, John Lindley, Maurice Ambler, Vincent Roy Moody, John Ellis Wybrow, Ruth Wybrow, William and Ethel Dickinson, Reverend David Hull, Nancy and Dennis Morris, William Stroud, Michael Tewkesbury, Olive Smedley, Kath Ledger, Baby Walter Kit Lockwood, Peter White, Andrew White, Gillian Proctor, Dorothy Leadbeater, Beatrice Atkinson, Jackie Burns, Philip Cresswick, Rini German, Edith Miller, Madge Bunting, Peter Bunting, Ethel Hadfield, Derek Baden Bird, Sidney Patrick, Neville Sturman, Sheila Fenton, Fred Partlett, Pauline Laws, Betty Graham, Andrea Webster, Ernest Burton, Irene Smith, Norman Charles Rom, Jack Flowers, Peter White, Andrew White, Kate Flowers, Jesse Wade, Sydney Wignall, Lillian Wignall, Gordon Goodwin, Sally Haddon, Alan Godbert, Pauline Laws, Margaret and Jeff Wright, Joan Lacey, Marilyn Jackson, Ivy and Jim Waller, Lorna Riley, Stephen Taylor, Harry McFall, Dick Baldwin, Andrew Baldwin, Johanna and Chris Leonard, Charles Towner, Paul Towner,
Mr. and Mrs. S. Messenger, Mr. and Mrs. W. Holmes, Mrs. C. Carlos, Mr. G. Telling, Gillian Proctor, Frida Bradbury, Cyril Bradbury, Joan Bradley, Gerald Prescott, Mark Prescott, Ethel, Arthur and Michael Smith, Leslie Eep Weatherall, Rita Weatherall, Anne Folks, Ivy Mosley, Wilfred Mosley, Joseph Robert Barlow, Hayden Barlow, Pauline Elizabeth Barlow, Ian Michael Brown, John and Mabel Bradshaw, Janet Taylor, Peter Rendell, Roy and Linda Smith, Adrian and May Wilkinson, Audrey Wilkinson, Libby Hadfield, Clara Davidson, George Richard Davidson, Olive Malpass, James William Malpass, Dennis Malpass, Ethel Hadfield, John Hall, Joanna Tomlinson, Joseph Doolan, Geoffrey and Kitty Ainsworth, John Jeffries, Stuart Wolstenham, Joseph and Olive Reynolds, Audrey Ainsworth, Keith Brown, Joyce Nausch, Stan Nausch, Patrick Hendley, Ian Coleman, Jenny and Harry Wilson, Joseph Haig, Dorothy Gambles,
So we just take a moment to thank God for all the people represented in those lights on our trees at both Balbra and Clown churches. Those we've heard named out loud and those who we've named in our hearts. We thank God that one day we will join them with the saints in light. As we gather together in different places but together online, in the presence of Christ, we pray for the world he came to save, for the church, that it may be enabled in our generation to surrender anew to God's holy wisdom and bear the good news of God's love to a needy world. For the world, which is already Christ's, that all its peoples may recognise their responsibility for its future and may be inspired by the message of Christmas to work together for the establishment of justice, freedom and peace everywhere. For all in special need, the sick, the anxious, the lonely, the fearful and the bereaved, that the peace and light of the Christ child may bring hope and healing to all who sit in darkness. We commend all whom we love or who have asked for our prayers to the unfailing mercy of our Heavenly Father and say together as Christ himself taught us, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. So just before our final blessing, we're going to listen to our final hymn now. I can see on Facebook, those of you watching it live, some of you might have joined us a little late. You can actually rewind the video and start it from the beginning so that you haven't missed anything. But the service will also be available to watch on YouTube um, a little later on as well.
you may like to bow your head to receive God's blessing. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Thank you for watching our service this evening. I hope you found it comforting. You can easily watch it again on Facebook and it will also be posted up on YouTube a little later this evening. Our next service is this Sunday in the morning at 10 o'clock at Clown Church and it will also be streamed live on Facebook and in the evening at six o'clock you'll be able to watch online our nine lessons and carol service. Tonight was a little taster of some of what's to come in that. So a massive thank you to the choir of St James's for recording the music so beautifully on Sunday for us to enjoy. Every blessing and see you soon. <laughs>